Hello there, everyone. Today I, today, I have actually brought up a virtual machine which contains a version of Windows XP in Japanese. So, yeah, we're basically running Windows XP. The thing is, we're running this inside of a virtual machine. So, we can actually do a lot of stuff with a virtual machine. Like, a lot of stuff with a virtual machine. Or so I'm told. Okay, so... With a virtual machine, you can actually do a lot of stuff. So, many of you all have heard of the new Toho game called Lolke, or um, Legend of Lunatic Kingdom. And basically, it contains this special mode called Point Device Mode, which basically allows you to, uh, like, basically, well, it doesn't really allow you to do, but, like, it's, a, like, a feature of the new game, which allows you to, like, have, like, have, like, the entire game separate into chapters. And, like, if you, if you die in a chapter, you have to restart the chapter, but you don't have to restart the whole level. And this doesn't really affect your, like, it affects your score a bit, because it causes your point levels to drop. But it's really just a, a way of just saving your progress every so often to make sure you don't die. With a virtual machine, we have ourselves a certain feature called snapshots, which allows us to do essentially the same thing without the game knowing about it. Kind of like a tool assist, but, um... Tool assists are a bit weird, so um, the virtual box the virtual box is our ch tool, so we're gonna go ahead and use that. I got myself a few uh, the of the Toho games right over here, so what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead and run ten desires here like so, and so it's gonna like say Tia Toho Project Thirteenth Project Shrine Me. Okay, we start off. So I've already played the played uh, up to at least stage six on this thing. So we're gonna go ahead and play one of the harder stages that I tend to have a hard time with. We're gonna go to practice start, normal mode, because uh, that's the only mode I played on here. We're gonna go here, and we've, we've brought up the special menu. Now the special menu allows you to select a special stage, or, well not a special stage, but like just a certain stage that you've already played before. So you can go around, play around, just keep pushing this button all you want. Now then you can hit stage 5. Now, what we're going to do here is, we're going to pause the game. Go to machine, take snapshot. We're going to make snapshot 1. Give it a few moments. It's going to save the machine state. And it's going to save the machine state. And so now we're going to return to game. It's 10 desires. What more do you expect? Oh, excuse the frame rate. Um, it's kind of slow because I'm running this on top of like a virtual machine and a uh, Linux operating Linux is, is okay, and Windows XP is okay, but it's just yeah. What else do you really expect out of the whole deal? Oh, as like a forewarning, I'm not very good at this game, but I've had at least a lot of practice with this stage so far. But I'm still not very good at it. Like for example, here comes some lanes. I'm gonna go ahead and save right here. Then we're gonna go, go to machine. We're gonna go ahead and take a snapshot right over here. I know LOLK does it differently, but um... Yeah, we're just gonna have to go with that. Anyway, as you see here, we got some lasers, right? Well, lasers are lasers. They do lasers. Obviously. But yeah, I like lasers. Do you like lasers? Come on, Marissa. Don't you just love lasers? Oh, hey, look, I died. That means I have to go through the lasers all over again. So what we're going to do here, we're going to go ahead and close out of this. We're going to click Power Off the Machine and Restore Snapshot 2. And you can see my recording stuff. But hey, you know what? Who cares? Because we have snapshots. So we can go to Settings accidentally without meaning to. We can go to Start. And then... Virtual Machine Tastic! Or, oh, that's not that fun. But, well, that's, that's not really a fun at all. It's so bad, it's not even a fun. Congratulations, you have failed. Anyway. Yeah, 
Yeah, we're gonna wait till she launches a spell card because I've already I've already done this part here pretty well. Oh wait, I still have hope. Oh, so I've done. Ouch. Right in the uh, Hey cool, there's a tower in the background because towers. You can go to the machine, take snapshot, because we've gotten a spell card here. And lol K does that, because lol K. <sighs> And desires. Oh gosh, this spell card, I hate it. Like, uh, but at the same time though, I love it because it's so beautiful. Like, it's just so majestic in the way it works. Well, it's not really majestic, but it's like, it's amazing, honestly. Oh hey, okay, I beat it. I'm not dying. Or save state. I'm gonna go ahead and make a save state now. Or a checkpoint or a chapter or whatever you want to call it. Because um, Ten Desires doesn't really have checkpoints. What the virtual machine does have, however, is checkpoints. So, hooray. Oh, by the way, I suck at this part as well. Yeah, and with Fudo coming up, oh my god, Fudo. He's amazing. Or so I'm told. Ah, there we go. Ah! Fairy! Wait. Suddenly I missed a Crocker. Congratulations. I'm gonna go bomb right there. Yes, I know who Mr. Crocker is. Problem? <laughs> Hi, Fudo! You're looking pretty good today, despite you being over 1,400 years old! Yes, Raymu, you have a giant teardrop. She says one single character, which I probably could read, but I probably don't feel like it. Oh! Fun fact! The start button, the start button here says STATO, or something like that in um japanese or stato um like uh, like oh no wait sutato or something like that I, I don't know it's like the u is on so it's like s u t a and then stato okay it just that's the way it works anyway back on topic Pluto. she's a good girl wait that's sanai <laughs> oh got it why am i thinking sanai oh hey cool spell card spell card or, wait, this isn't a spell card. What am I talking about? Curse you too, who? Wait. Yeah, you see, the correct pronunciation for Toho is, uh, Toho? But, um... The problem here is a lot of people like to say, Oh, whoa, that's a bad place to do that. Because they're like, you have died. So, we go back over here. I go, close, close up this... When was my last snapshot? Please tell me it was that Fudo. No, it wasn't, was it? Dang, nabbit! <laughs> this is why I like automatic, um, automatic save staging, because at least Small Cage did that for you. But here you have to manually do it. But at the same time, though, I really feel like the, uh, Don Maki games in general really don't need save states. They're not really built around that. Even if you try to clutch it on as like a new mechanic, I mean, it still doesn't really work as well as you'd like it. But, yeah, there you go. I'm gonna go make myself a snapshot right here, just to make sure. Because, dang nabbit, that was embarrassing. <laughs> dang nabbit! So, anyway, yep. Normal, because we're normal like that. Anyway, take that fairy, because I'm not Mr. Crocker anymore. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do like dying. 
I'm just gonna make sure we don't die again. We're gonna go take another snapshot. Right where Reimu is questioning what is how big this tower is. Because she's Reimu like that, you know? Hey, Pluto, how are you doing? Despite you being 1,400 years old, I'm Reimu Hakurei, and I'm here to resurrect your mausoleum because cat. Okay? See, I have red bows on. That means I'm gonna resurrect your, um, what's that girl's name? Oh yeah, tell your Sapo Mimi no Miko, because Miko. <laughs> oh, don't give me that eye. I know what you're thinking. You want to get right on your boat all day because Pluto. <laughs> Infallible logic by HTM. And we're gonna make ourselves another snapshot. Because awkward silence. <laughs> Well, we're not going to be too silent, are we? Good thing I'm not using UFO, because I'd probably be here forever if I was. So essentially what we're doing here is we're actually, um, simulating or emulating the lol case. Kind of like a lol case, but, um, it's not exactly like lol case. Yeah, um, this is a, this is another non-spell card that I have a hard time with sometimes, but most of the time I don't. Let's player's curse, isn't it? Oh well, we're just gonna go back to Zaf Shavin, because Shavin. Hey look, it's another spell card, I wonder what it is. Alright, Pluto gets onto a boat. By the way, for those people wondering what that error message was down at the bottom, that was really when it was actually telling me that my, um, network, uh, card was unplugged. Because, um, what happens here is, is that whenever I, um, save, whenever I restore a snapshot, it's like as though it lost connection to the internet. So, it doesn't know what to do about that. Now this time, let's try not to be stupid. Oh cool, spell card, forget bonus thing. Take snapshot. So yeah, we are taking snapshots of snapshots. Actually, technically that's what we're doing. We're taking snapshots of snapshots. I'll show you in a moment. Uh, okay, so basically right now we're fighting Pluto. So, Pluto now. Hey, cool! Now I get to show off what I mean. Anyway, snapshots. Snapshots of snapshots. See? They exist. So, yeah. That's not the right window. Anyway, return to game. Oh, wrong button. We have to actually restart this virtual machine because... For some reason you cannot, like, actively, like, um... Restore virtual machines while the machine's running. Weird, I know. Anyway. Here we go. What do you guys think of Pluto? He's pretty cool. He has a boat and everything. I died at the same part. I died at exactly the same part. How does that even work? Hey, Pluto, how's that boat? Wait. Hey, Gary, how's that Rattata? I don't think that's the same logarithm. Oh, gosh, this felt hard. It's like Icicle Fall. Almost. But Pluto. But Pluto. See? 10 out of 10, easy. Because easy peasy lemon squeezy. Speaking of Icicle Fall, this is save state 9. Or snapshot 9, or point device 9, or 
whatever you want to call it, nine. Did you know that my favorite part of Pluto is her theme? Yeah, for sure. You know, that's not really a part of her. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I'm gonna go take myself another snapshot right there. Ninety-nine percent. Hey guys, did you know that the one thing that I don't like about Log Cage Point Device Mode is the fact that when you run out of bombs, you actually have to do the spell card to actually pretty precise. Oh wow, we're already at this spell card? Shoot! Wow, where have I been this past couple of years? <laughs> but yeah, anyway, what I was going to say here is that um, when you run out of bombs, it sucks, because you can't really... You can't really beat the game unless you, unless you actually know your spell cards or something. Yeah, we're going to return to the game. And then we got this spell card. This spell card's hard, but I love it. This is like one of the better food of spell cards. And that's the people following along at, at, at where you're at. I don't actually do this to um, play the game, but um, I, I just I, I'm just like showing off what the virtual machine can do because virtual machines are very versatile utilities, and when you virtual machine it up, virtual machines can do a lot for you. Cause like, like as you can see here, I have like different kinds of virtual machines, but that's off topic. We're gonna go back to Fudo because you know what, Fudo. Whoa, that's the manual. Don't do that. It'd be hilarious if I accidentally quit the game right about here. Luckily, we have safe space for that. So, yeah. When you run out of bombs, you're gonna have a bad time. Just like that means always there. I think this is what you could call an aimbot. Oh no, wait, no, this is not an aimbot at all. If this was an aimbot, I'd have like automatic dodging using some sort of AI system. Just like what Setzling did with Mar IO. Wow! <laughs> wow, that was pretty bad. I died right at the end. Oh yeah, sorry about my background noise. My fan speed is kind of going up because of the fact that I'm doing a lot of things at once. Such as recording, recording the footage of this, and I'm also running two operating systems at once. Followed by the fact that I'm running a kind of intensive game. Fun fact! Windows, this, this, um, this Windows XP virtual machine only has 64 megabytes of, uh, allocated video memory so and i read the wiki and it says it requires 128 megabytes so maybe somebody messed up somewhere and hey we defeated it take that pluto with your gigantic tear don't be sad pluto i'm just here to wreck things up because i'm a shrine maiden and i like to take people's donations or so I'm told. Is that what Shrine Maidens do? I think that's what they do. They just bless things with a rod, and they just... To bless with a rod, you just have to whack them a couple of times. Oh, by the way, once we're done, we're, we're gonna... We're gonna... I'm gonna show you something that Ball K can't do in point device mode. Okay, so, we've, um... Uh, I've lost count of how many times I've died. But, um, let's say I've, uh, died, like, about, like, eight or nine times. They're gonna click Save Replay. They're gonna go down one. Then we're gonna go Save it. And then we're gonna go... Is that recording the same thing? I don't remember now. But, um, anyway, we're gonna go ahead and go back. And return to time. 
and we're gonna go play that replay again. Now remember, I died several times in this whole playthrough of stage five. We're gonna go fast forward through this. By the way, the uh, fast forward key is control, in case you were wondering. This allows me to skip through a lot of uh, the portions of a playthrough. Now, Lol K has this thing where if you're in point device mode, you can't really save a replay because Zoom never implemented the whole saving replay to actually save a replay. Um, and no, 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 I mean, like, he hasn't really implemented the, where, like, um, even if you die, it, like, picks, like, the best one to, um, save the replay with. Yeah, Zoo never implemented that. But, in perspective of 10 desires, like, the, the actual program 10 desires, all those, um, moments where we died, those never happened. They never happened. And according to 10 desires, I legitimately beat that level. With no death. Though, as you obviously can tell, I cheated. But, like, not even the virtual, not, not even the, uh, operating, not even Windows XP could tell. Other than the fact that it's Ethernet cable case getting unplugged and replugged. <laughs> like, that, that, that's probably like an anomaly in its case. But, um, whatever the case is, yeah. Nothing happens. It's all. It's all as though I never died. Hey there, Pluto. And I'm just fast forwarding through this. Yeah, that's one thing that Lol could never dream about doing. Saving your replay like no tomorrow. Oh, by the way, did you know that I actually own 10 Desires? Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good that you own it, but yeah. And there's my favorite spell card. It actually looks kind of like a biohazard logo. And so, there you go. That's 10 Desires crashing on me like no tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, it crashed, and I don't know why. Well, whatever. Anyway, that was 10 Desires, basically using save uh, save states. Now, I don't know what's up with this era, but I know I've like done like um, UFO pretty well with the save states for that crafting, so I don't know what's up with that. But, um, yep. So, we've implemented, so we basically manually re-implemented LolK. Congratulations. Now, I'm going to say this, I don't recommend anyone else doing this because it's really frustrating to um, run, a run a snapshot and run a snapshot and run a snapshot because you have to like, close the virtual machine, start it back up, close the virtual machine, start it back up, close the virtual machine, start it back up. But then that also tells you something about LolK, where like, it's really, fr like, even with save states, it actually makes the game a hell of a lot more frustrating because you have to like, play the same spell card over and over and over and over and over and over and over, especially without bombs, until you get it just right. If you're watching this video, Zune, I'm gonna say, safe states don't work with Danmaku. Never again. I still love your games and characters, though, so don't worry about that. Anyway, this was HDF playing 10 Desires. You have a great time with whatever you're doing. See you later.